Letting go and trusting the universe can be difficult, especially when you're constantly coming up against barriers and you lose all hope, faith and trust because the thing that you want, it never happens, it never comes. Now in today's video, I'm going to share with you five steps that made letting go and living cooperatively with the universe a lot easier for me, especially when it was, seemed like that life is just impossible and like, what's the point? Let me ask you a question. Do you find yourself feeling like you never have enough money or you should get that promotion and it never comes or you want to find love? but you never find it. And so you find yourself feeling stuck, feeling lonely, feeling confused, stuck in a vibration that doesn't serve you. But you can change all of that by applying these five steps to your life and living cooperatively with the universe. You'll start seeing your manifestations come to fruition, allowing abundance to freely enter your life. You'll feel productive, creative, you'll feel that self-love. And with wisdom and clarity, you'll see the absence of doubt, stress, worry and fear and instead find a new way of thinking that will transform your life. Number one, your first step, observing your life so far. Now, first, I would like you to answer this question. How has the universe already throughout your life demonstrated to you that you can very much trust? Now, I would like you to take a moment to think about that question. And I want you to answer that question as well. And you can easily type it up in the comments down below. Because this is you taking the time to acknowledge, to accept what you have created what you've manifested, what you've made happen in your life so far. I want you to then take a look at everything that you've overcome, everything that you've achieved in the past, the difficult things, that, the difficult periods that you got through the crisis. Even when it seemed impossible, it seemed dark, scary and gloomy. Because sometimes we can forget about all the things that we've been through, all the challenges, all the obstacles that we got through. And even the breakthroughs that we've actually had, the, the things that we've accomplished and achieved because we can forget everything that we've been through and fall back into that state of fear. This then proves that you're able to shift your thoughts, not worry so much or get carried away with it. And if things happened, then things also worked out for you as well. And if there's evidence of that, then you know it will be again. And if you did it once, then you can do it again. You just got to have trust and faith in yourself and the universe. So how has the universe already shown you based on your past experiences that you can trust? You might get signs, synchronicities, angel numbers, visions or vivid dreams, or even whispers through meditation. These are your nudges, your signs from the universe and the source that you can trust and everything will be okay. You just need to let go of the worry and the stress and the fear, that doubt that's keeping you stuck and just go with the flow of things. Enjoy the process. Then look at where you are. Look at where you want to go. Which direction are you being pulled, being called in? Perhaps you're yearning for something more, something with more depth, more purpose, greater freedom. Because you feel trapped and you want to create something new. You just need to turn inwards to find that clarity and that willpower and that courage. And this is a moment where you start trusting yourself again, having faith in the universe and start getting yourself out of those lower vibrations. And just like with anything, just like with any other relationship, you apply the same logic because it takes time to build that trust. So when you find yourself in that situation, you tell yourself, okay, I've been through this before. I trust that what's meant for me will come into my life, that the universe is preparing me to see if I'm ready to receive something greater. This is how you bring your focus back into the now. You do things that make you feel good, make you feel alive. And that could be like exercise, eating healthy food, playing, reading a book, spending time with family, doing whatever it is that makes you feel good and brings you back into the moment of now, brings your vibrational frequency up. It's all about trusting yourself and doing things that will allow you to feel and be in that moment, in that vibration, whatever allows you to work through that situation. Step number two, acknowledging your worries. Now, worries are often rooted in things like fear, anxiety, diet or a bad memory, or the need to control something. And that comes from conditioning from your early childhood. And that's to do with our old identity, our self-limiting beliefs. Or perhaps you've imagined like a worst case scenario and that's driving you crazy. So to really free ourselves, we need to stop. We need to pause. We need to truly, really acknowledge our worries. Get to the root cause, identify our patterns and become aware of them. Then you can shift and start to see things from a different perspective. Because when you're not doing that inner work, you're not doing the healing and you're not doing the letting go. All you're doing is fueling those negative thoughts. You're ignoring and shutting them away and not really going through the process and learning the lessons that need to be learned. And hence you find yourself back in that same position, back in that same situation, repeating the same old patterns, the same lower vibrational thoughts, the same energy, and that's, what, and that's what's keeping you stuck and stagnant. So here's what you can do. You can go deeper 
and see what you're really worrying about. Because if you can see the worst case scenario and you can feel it, well, then you can ask yourself, well, what is the alternative path to that? What can I do instead if that scenario was to happen? This is your chance to create that different image in your mind and really feel and connect with it. Continually visualize that image, that scenario playing out differently each time and even more positively. Feel what you would be doing differently. What would you be having? What would you be creating? And the more you practice this, you'll be able to increase your vibrational frequency. Be able to, you'll be able to tune into it more. Even when you're doing your mundane day-to-day -day stuff and not just in meditation, you'll be able to create the lifestyle that you want. You'll be able to feel lighter and more joyous about life again. Now, before we move on to step number three, I just want to say that this is not the same as you surrendering to the worry. Remember, worry is an illusion. Instead, this is how you free yourself. Then you start to have trust and you make peace with reality and you understand that everything has its purpose, even the lessons that need to be learned. Because there is nothing permanent unless you hold on to it, unless you cage it with your focus, with your attention, with your resistance. Instead, transmute that worry into trust and understand that whatever's coming will be better than what's left. Here are some questions that you can ask yourself when you worry. Stressed. Observing a negative thought about your life or somebody else's. How have I changed because of this? What else can be true about this situation other than what my unconscious mind sees? What did I do before when this happened? Step number three, letting go of control. Now, everything that we've experienced from childhood up until now, the trauma, the painful experiences, conditioned us to behave and react to lower emotions from a state of survival mode because we became addicted to these lower negative emotions and behaviour along the way. Now, whether something is real or imagined, our body releases a stress hormone so that it can mobilise energy to respond to that threat or stress. Now, this is a body's natural reaction of fight or flight but we become programmed and addicted to it. For example, most of my life I've lived in a fight or flight state and that's because that's what I became addicted to and that's because of the emotional abuse and the abandonment issues that I've had since childhood and I carry that with me and because of that I felt the need to control, to control the situation that I was in so that I can feel safe and secure within myself. In that mind, our brains become overly alert and aroused as we try to predict, control, manipulate and force a particular outcome in the effect to increase our chances of survival so that we can control our experiences and not get hurt. But all we're really doing in that moment is sabotaging ourselves because we're not really getting to the root cause, the root problem of why we are trying to control a situation or create a particular outcome. If we can get to the root cause, we can heal we can let go of what it is that we are trying to carry with us in the life that we want to create, but really that's actually holding us back. So if you've created this idea that you need to control something, you need to control an outcome, a situation, and you keep pushing too hard, keep pushing so hard to create that particular outcome, then that's the vibrational frequency that you're then emitting out into the universe. And as a result of that, that's what you then attract back into your life. And hence, that's what keeps you stuck and stagnant. So you're telling the universe that you're not ready to receive. You're not ready to receive those big breakthroughs, those big transformations, those changes, that love and abundance. When you think so much about the way you need to control, it changes your behaviour. You start acting in a way that's counterproductive, out of desperation, and it never leads anywhere positive, right? You're not able to go through the process, the healing journey, those smaller steps of expansion and growth that's meant for you, instead of looking for that quick result. Focus on what it is that you can actually control. And that is your mindset, your attention, your focus, your reactions and your responses. And then let go of things that you can't control because things will unfold as they need to unfold and things always work out as they need to work out and work out for the best case scenario. And then once you start to trust yourself, you will have a little bit more trust in the universe and this will help you to relinquish that control. Don't rush the transition. Instead, embrace what's happened, the failures, the losses. Let go of things that no longer serve you. Decipher what comes up, sift through what comes up, what comes up into your, in that moment. And this is your chance to allow new perspectives to enter your mind. And this is where new beginnings happen. Be present in your current reality. Don't push away the changes that are coming into your life 
or try too hard to force particular things, but instead embrace all the changes. These are all positive and this will allow you to transcend and transform your life. Identify the triggers that made you want to control that situation in the first place. What is it that made you want to behave and react in that particular way? And you can ask yourself a question, well, how is it that I will react now if that situation, if that situation was to play out? Or a particular situation, what have I learned? Create those positive steps, mantras, affirmations that you can actually say to yourself in that moment when you become aware of those old patterns playing out because that's you then disrupting that old thought pattern and instead creating new thought pathways, reprogramming your subconscious mind to think differently, to see things from a different angle, to see things from a different perspective. And also notice how your body feels and reacts. If you're having an, a reaction that's one that's of a, an anxiety reaction, are you getting palpitations? Are you getting stomach cramps? Are your stomach feeling nauseous? You know, identify these signs. These are your trigger warnings. These are your signs. It's your indication that something needs to change, something needs to give. In that moment, you become aware and you're able to make that positive change. You can then go and excuse yourself in your, if you're in a busy situation. Go and excuse yourself and do some breath work. You know, you can do the five senses of mindfulness. You can do deep breathing. Whatever it is that helps you get back into that feeling of good, back into that flow. You can do some meditation. And if you can't and you're stuck in a situation, but you're able to excuse yourself, you know, just go and open the window. Just take that fresh breath in. Just feel that fresh breath, fresh air, sorry. And just connect. Maybe you can observe and see and ground yourself by noticing some of the things that you can see outside, like the tree, the grass, because that is you taking your mind away from the focus of the anxiety and the stress and putting your mind somewhere else. Allow yourself to dream a better future, a better vision for yourself. And this will allow you to get yourself back into that alignment and back into the feeling of good and back into the flow of things. Step number four, opening up the channel to receive is so much easier for the universe to give when we're not constantly fighting ourselves or constantly trying to control every second. We block the channel when we're constantly and always looking from a place of lack or thinking about life and worrying about life that it's not exactly how we want it to be. But when the channel is open, things flow. Situations work out by themselves. You get synchronicities and you get signs. People show up and support you. Your body language changes and you're more loving in your approach. Your aches and pains, they ease a little bit because that energy is no longer stuck and stagnant inside of your body. Instead, it's released. You're able to let go and you're able to open the channel for receiving. And your body, it rebalances itself. So to open up the channel, we need to spend more time being in the present moment and just chill. We're so conditioned that we think about... The future, we're constantly worrying about the future of something that hasn't even happened yet. Or we're constantly worrying about the past, the stuff that's already happened. And we're constantly in a fight or flight state that we forget about the now, we forget about the day and the day just passes us by. Because in that day, in that moment, through that power of awareness, that's when you're able to shift your mindset. You're able to grow and evolve. You'll be able to transform your life. The present moment is where inner peace and joy is found. And in that moment, if you're able to change your thought and create that good feeling now, then you're able to change your tomorrow. You're able to change the day after that. Because you're telling the universe, give me more of that. Give me more of the good stuff. So follow what feels good moment by moment. Instead of worrying about the past or worrying about the future. Do what feels good now. And this is you taking care of yourself. And this leads me to number five, which also links in with number four as well. But this is all about appreciation and joy. And what I want you to do is I want you to visualize. Visualize what it is that you want to manifest and create into your life. And what I want you to do is really feel that, really connect with that and become that version of you as if that is already who you are right now, right now in this present moment. And then I want you to find the satisfaction, the joy of being that, being that person the satisfaction, joy of all the things that you've got around you, rather than worrying about the past, rather than looking at things and the world from a place of lack. And when you feel good, your vibrational frequency raises. And when your vibrational frequency raises, you come into alignment with your inner being, your spiritual being. And that is when you'll start to see the big shifts. You'll start to see breakthroughs, the transformations that you want into your life. You'll start to have trust in yourself as well as the universe. Then you will start receiving and you will let the universe do its thing because that's something that you don't need to worry about. The universe will take care of you. The universe will take care of the rest. You just need to be in the moment of appreciation and joy and satisfaction. 
chill and trust that everything is okay and know that nothing happens to us but actually for us and trust that the universe will take care of everything in its own mysterious wonderful way. So here are some of the things that you can actually do. You can practice mindful meditation. This will allow you to bring your focus, your attention back to the present moment of here and now. You can use positive affirmations as a way to break away from those negative thought pathways and instead use them as a source of inspiration. Do something that moves that negative energy through you. That could be exercise, yoga, pilates, breath work, dancing, just by putting some music on, whatever it is that allows you to move that energy through you, playing with your children, running around in the garden, whatever allows you to bring and move that energy through you. Also allow yourself to dream, dream about the different possibilities that you want to create and manifest, that you, the lifestyle that you actually want to have. And then calmly observe how it is that you feel when you're pondering and thinking about all these different possibilities. Remember this is your journey and this is a process that you must take to find yourself again, to find your higher self, to connect with your higher self, to rediscover your power and create and manifest a life that you actually want. And you can do this by letting go of all the negativity, all the stuff that's holding you back and learning to live cooperatively with the universe. And remember, this is not about you putting your hands up and giving up because you think you're not worthy of it, you don't deserve it or you just can't have it. Those are your self-limiting beliefs. No. Instead, this is about you putting in that effort, going within yourself to create that mind-spirit-body balance. Doing that in a work and allowing the universe to do the rest. So I hope you have a great day. Please like and subscribe so that it can reach other like-minded viewers as well. Have a great day. Much love. Namaste.